Odd Taxi is one of those animes that really make you think, hmm, you know, not gonna lie, life kind of sucks. The journey that all these characters go on is a special one, where you see the stories of these characters and what they struggle with, how one person wishes he could be rich, or how one wants recognition, or another where he wishes he could be as funny as his partner. All these issues the characters have compile and leave you with an incredible story where you relate with these real issues. The story follows Hiroshi Otakawa. Otakawa is a taxi driver, just a normal dude who drives a taxi for a living. Despite being somewhat ordinary, the dude is based. He has this keen ability where he can meet a person in just a split second and can then recognize that same person instantly by just one look. Super freaky. I know. But the interesting parts are how he encounters all these people and finding out about their stories and experiences. He meets a person who wants to be famous on social media. So that person takes a selfie with Otakawa and his tweet goes viral. But it just so happens that a criminal named Dobu, who is on the run from the police, is in that selfie. And that leads to Dobu confronting Otakawa. And that all leads down this rabbit hole of all these different stories intertwining so beautifully. So that's what I want to talk about first the stories of these characters. Otakawa has his own thing going on with Dobu, as he's forced to work with him due to threats. Another story that plays out deals with idol stars and trying to make it big. We have an entire episode focused on a person who just wants to impress people with his erasers when he was younger. It eventually leads him down to paying money for a mobile game just so he can get one animal. And after spending so much money, he finally gets that one animal, but he drops his phone, goes into water, takes it to a store, and turns out the animal didn't save. And since he doesn't get it, he goes ape shit and blames Otakawa for it. Or even a story of a person who wants to be rich and just tries to impress a girl he's seeing. But you can probably guess it doesn't go well for him. Seeing all these stories connect with each other was great because when we get to the conclusion, it makes everything just that much better. But what these stories represent are all the different issues regarding society. Addiction and gambling, mental health, the struggling artist, losing friendships what social media does to a person, and so on and so forth. This is the pressure we all face. This pressure can be things we do to ourselves or from others. The pressure of making it big as an idol star and getting simps to buy your OnlyFans. Maybe it's the pressure that you're 40 years old and at this point, you should have had a stable income and have a wife and family. Or it's that pressure you need recognition and fame in order to validate yourself as a human being. I want to go back to the story of the kid who wanted to impress people with erasers. This was one of my favorite side stories in the anime because gambling is such a big thing now, especially in the gaming scene. He gets addicted to buying loot boxes just to get one animal. It takes over his life, all because of the pressure he puts on himself to be the best. He got that initial dopamine spurt when he was younger by placing bets to buy an eraser, which led to nothing. So when he got this game, it leads him down a destructive path. We can even look at the kid who went viral off his tweet. He starts to build off of it, but eventually people start critiquing him and he gets defensive. He has to go above and beyond to impress these people due to his own insecurities and needs validation from people online. This is relatable to any big YouTuber, TikToker, etc. Because there will always be people who judge or hate you. Some reasons can be valid, some aren't and they will try their best to get the validation from their fans because it will make them feel better about themselves. Even the main character gets this pressure of having to face and overcome his trauma. These are all real issues we face in society. Okay, I know this is gonna sound like a joke, but I'm actually being serious here. <coughs> This is the issue with society. There are lots of issues, but the show does a great job at showcasing what the issues are and why they happen. Seeing how gambling happens and the destructive path it leads down, or how show business isn't really all that it's led to believe. It shows the struggle that we all go through, seeing what happens when you don't care for your mental health, or how one friend is getting bigger because of their success while you are still stuck. The relatability of how we all have our own struggles in life due to how society labels you. Are you older? don't have a family and can't get bitches well looks like you're a loser you've been working hard on your gig for years but it hasn't worked out loser what makes the ending of the show great without getting into spoilers is how they were able to remove their shackles the issues that all these people had are real ones but sometimes you got to face these fears head on the best scene in the show comes from the final episode and without context this taxi flying is powerful and seeing how all these characters connect with the taxi chef's kiss baby that's why the show is a work of art and became one of my favorite animes. I would highly, highly, highly recommend you watch this show. 
If you can take away anything from this video, it's this. Life sucks, society sucks, but you can always try to make things better for yourself. So stop hating yourself and start enjoying the little things in life. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And be sure to leave a comment if you have any other video suggestions. I'm Mofo Genius and I'm signing out. I'll see you all later.